Welcome to our lecture online. Finally, a JE advanced problem you might be able to do in three minutes or less. So let's read it. It says, a small block of mass one kilogram is released from rest at the top of a rough track. The track is a circular arc of radius 40 meters. The block slides along the track without toppling and a frictional force acts on it in the direction opposite to the instantaneous velocity. The work done in overcoming the friction up to point Q, as shown in the figure, is 150 joules. Let G equals 10 meters per second square. The speed of the block when it reaches point Q is, and they give you four possible answers, only one of those answers is correct. So how do we do that? Well it turns out it's a conservation of energy problem. So you can see that when the block starts over here, as the block comes down it will lose potential energy. It will then also gain kinetic energy, but not all of the potential energy is converted to kinetic energy because some of it is lost due to friction. They tell us the amount lost due to friction is 150 joules. So first what we need to do is determine what the drop in elevation is. Because we can say, let's call this H, we can say that the loss of potential energy, the change in potential energy, is going to be mgh. Now in this case the mass is 1 kilogram, g is 10 meters per second, but what about the height? Well, notice if we draw a triangle right here, we can see that h can be determined by this triangle. This is r, that's the hypotenuse, that's the opposite side to the angle, so therefore h is going to be r times the sine of the angle of 30 degrees. So it's going to be r times the sine of 30 degrees, and of course that's going to be equal to 1 times 10, r is 40, and the sine of 30 is 1 half. And so that's going to be equal to 200 joules. So the loss in potential energy, this is a loss, the loss in potential energy is equal to 200 joules. Now where does that loss go? Well, 150 of it goes to, um, goes to uh, overcoming the friction. So we lose 200 joules. 150 of it goes to friction, so friction takes friction, gives us a, takes 150 joules away, that means we have now 50 joules left for kinetic energy. So we take 200 joules of potential energy, 150 is of it is used to overcome friction, the remaining 50 joules is used to gain kinetic energy. So we can say that kinetic energy is equal to one half mv squared. So from here we can solve this for v, so v is equal to the square root of twice the kinetic energy divided by m, the mass, and so the kinetic energy is 50 joules, so we get the square root of 2 times 50 divided by 1, which is the square root of 100, which is 10, and of course that would be meters per second, because we're looking for velocity. And the answer then must be b, because that tells us 10 meters per second. So actually, this is not a bad problem. You simply have to realize it's a conservation of energy problem. We lose 200 joules of potential energy, 150 of it is used to overcome the friction, the remaining 50 is used for kinetic energy, and then velocity is twice kinetic energy divided by mass, take the square root of that, 2 times 50 divided by 1 is 100, take the square root, you get 10. So yes, you can squeeze this one out in 3 minutes or less, and that is how it's done. So how did we do, do on time? <laughs> <laughs> More than, I was doing a lot of talking, but yes, I think if you just get on it right away, three minutes seems reasonable for this problem.